Brooklyn, we have a very special update for you now on a local teen who survived and is overcoming a devastating stroke. Chris English shares what's next for his family and what to do if you think somebody is having a stroke. Just over a year ago, we introduced you to 13-year-old Daniel Odney, who had suffered a stroke while at Furman Middle School in Sumter County. Daniel's grandmother, Rhonda Otney, says no one realized her grandson was having a stroke. His speech was getting slurred a little bit. Uh, he had some weakness. He was having trouble standing. You know, they never in a million years thought he was having a stroke. It doesn't happen to 13-year-olds. They did a CT scan and discovered he had a brain bleed. Doctors eventually found a five centimeter aneurysm, which they said led to a hemorrhagic stroke, something that even most adults don't survive. Daniel, confined to a hospital bed, was unable to move portions of his body. Eventually, he was released, but wasn't allowed to resume normal activity for fear the aneurysm would rupture. I used to love going skating, and I was getting so good to where I'd be skating backwards, but then the stroke just came along and knocked that all down. But this week, Daniel and his family received some surprisingly good news. The scan yesterday showed that the aneurysm has not only shrunk, it has disappeared. The American Stroke Association says that stroke has no age limits. Whether it's adults, children, or infants, when a stroke happens, time is of the essence. Now, you can look for the warning signs for a stroke by thinking of the acronym FAST. If you notice someone with face drooping, arm weakness, or slurred speech, then it's time to call 911. As for Daniel, he's been cleared to be as active as he wants. Whether that's jogging, practicing soccer kicks, or riding an e-bike, he'll be smiling the whole time. When asked what's next for he and his family, Daniel doesn't hesitate to answer. First thing I want to do is go to Carowinds and ride all of them rides. In Columbia, Chris English, News 19, WLTX. Oh my oh. goodness, it's so good to see he's doing well. And he and his grandma, they got, came by WLTX today and they were so sweet and kind. And I'm telling you what, she keeps him in line. Or he might keep her in line too. Yeah. They might be a little bit of both. Right, you know, Nana's, when, when you got a boo-boo, they're going to be right there. Right there. Right there. So, well, good luck to you, Daniel. And again, remember what Chris just told us in that story. Fast, face, arm, speech, and time are of the essence if you notice someone having a stroke. Now his grandma says he is doing some rehab, but she is so blessed at how far he has come. And we'll get the story at WLTX.com. You can check it out.